Okay, so I just charged up the super tank. Uh, I had fully depleted it, so it was... Um, it flashed 0-1 for a long time. 1% lasted many hours, so the... The, um, this number is not accurate. Just use that as a, um, some sort of light gauge, but if you got, if you have 10% left, you're going to have a lot. Uh, so it charged at 5 volts and about 1 amp. Now it's just trickle charging it a little bit. There's probably a little bit left that it can do, so, uh, 24,000 mAh, so 24 amp hours. Um, that's pretty good. That's, uh... Because this is capable of 27, so that's really pretty efficient, but obviously at that low of a voltage charging it, um, and at 1 amp, it's going to be way more efficient than using my 90 watt charger, so I guess that would be charging at uh, 20 volts. So, Alright, I'm going to check and see how this works. Okay, so welcome to the testing of the replacement super tank. Um, as you can see here, I do have it charged to 100%. Um, it's really the same. It's the exact same model number as the original that I had gotten from Kickstarter. So, um, just as a refresher, we've got a in-out uh, power delivery 100 watt port. We've got, come on, focus. Err. Oh, there it is. Uh, power delivery is 60 watt out only, and then we have a quick charge 18 watt. That's proprietary. It's not um, Qualcomm. And then a standard 15 watt. <clears throat> so, uh, 5 volt out. So, I'm going to flip this over. We're going to start with the bottom ports, the USB-C A, because uh, they're going to get covered up once I pop the C's in there. So, um, to start... I've got the um, this Amazon. Uh, I haven't had coffee today, by the way. This Amazon. Um, what are these things called? Okay, the, so to start, I've got this uh, Amazon tablet. It's at sixty-nine percent. I can show you that right here. Sixty-nine percent. So it's drained, you know, a decent level. So. This shouldn't be a, an issue. I'm going to plug that in here. Is this the right port? Yeah, 15 watt port. So, you can see the voltage and the amps from here. Uh, about 5 volts, 1.68 amps. Cool. Um, all right. This battery, as you may remember, is compa uh, capable of quick charge through Anchor's proprietary Power IQ 2. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to see what happens to this when I plug it in over here. So it, the other port, the 15 watt port, looks like it did take a bit of a nosedive. Um, it was down to a lower amperage but it did adjust so it looks like the uh, the tablet charging at 5 volts and 1.6 amps is still the same uh, the battery unfortunately um, which is very depleted is charging only at the 5 volts and 2 amps um, so the quick charge is not kicking in if I unplug this leaving just the quick charge in there it does not seem to want to change over. And as we've seen in previous tests with the original one, it did change on occasion when it was just plugged in on its own by itself. So, um, anyway, everything seems to be fine except for the fact that the quick charge isn't working in conjunction with both, U both USA, uh, USB A ports working. Um, <clears throat> this is the Pixel XL. It is down to 32%. So I'm going to plug that into the in out 100 watt port. And we're at 9 volts. 
1.6 amps. That's fine. Doesn't look like... I think I can see under here, maybe. 5 volts and... 1.68 amps. So the A's have not changed. These are both the same. And we're drawing power charging this. Um, and of course it does show uh, charging rapidly on the phone. But we can see that anyway, based on the voltage. Okay. Um, the phone that I'm using to film this is the Pixel 3 XL. Right now the battery is at 72%. So it should be able to pull um, a decent amount of current. Is that the right way of phrasing that? Um, so here we go. Okay. Looks like the other USB-C port turned off for a second. But... Hmm... Why is this hopping all over the place like that? It looks like the um, 100 watt port is really going all over the place. But hey, all the ports are charging. We've got the tablet. You can see that up in the corner, 70% charging. Um, and we've got this battery still charging not a quick charge rate but whatever um, my phone is charging let's see yep 72 percent charging so it's just a matter of why did the amperage drop on the pixel XL uh, if we unplug this one or I think I can actually turn it off I don't know if that makes a difference. It's not going over an amp, and that phone is pretty drained. If I unplug this, is this one going to speed up? No, not really. <clears throat> but I'm above 50%. So I'll plug this one back in. It's the Pixel XL. And we're at a higher amperage. Interesting. Unplugging it and replugging it actually made it faster. Okay, that killed the power. And it's back. Which also caused a reset on the meter. Hmm. Never experienced that before except for with the super tank. And there we go again. Not good for the batteries to keep resetting like that, but I think lithium ions a little more tolerable. They can tolerate that. Um, it looks like everything's going pretty well here. I uh, I don't see any issues. So I think whatever the issues were before with the other battery, we're able to charge all with all four ports. Um, let's try unplugging the A's to see if that affects the C ports. It's weird that this dropped back down again. It's got a solid connection. It's got a really good cable. It's the 100 watt port again. Oops. I should take the plastic off this <laughs> protective film. And I'll plug in my phone one more time. I hate to keep doing this, but hey, gotta test this crap. Okay. So that seems alright. <clears throat> By the way, both Pixel 
uh, XLs, the one and the three, um, they don't um, accept anything higher than an 18 watt charger. So that'd be, um, what is that? I can't think. Okay, so let's unplug this. And let's unplug both. So both C phones are out. I'm going to try to see if we can get quick charge going. Just having that plugged in on its own. Aha, there it goes. So again, kind of the same thing we saw with the original battery. Um, when something else was plugged in, it had issues. What if I plug in the Pixel XL? The C ports don't really seem to affect the A ports anyway. Okay, so we're still at 9 volts on the... And... Okay. Now I'm going to assume, based on the patterns we've seen so far, when I plug in the tablet, um, the quick charge, see the 9 volts going? It's going to drop back down. Yep. So that's a problem with the way they have it. Uh, but if you need to use quick charge, just use that one port, the 18 watt port, uh, and don't use this port. Um, okay, is there anything else I want to test here? <clears throat> Trickle charge shouldn't affect this. We're at 95%, you can see that. I'm going to double tap the button on the top. Now it's got that trickle charge logo. That really just keeps the battery on, especially if there's a low current being pulled, like from a, uh, let's say, a like, a like one of these kind of watches, USB or a Bluetooth device. It really doesn't suck a whole lot of amperage. Um, might need to turn on that quick charge. And again, it just keeps the battery on. The, oh, I'm sorry, the trickle charge. Uh, the efficiency charging it slow is really good. It took about a day to charge it at the, the super tank at um, 5 volts and 1 amp. Obviously, really slow. But with my 90 watt charger, which is almost the full, you know, 100 watt in, uh, it takes only about a little over an hour. So. If you need to charge the super tank real quick, that's great. You're going to have a lot of battery power with you um, in that amount of time. So I can show you that real quick as well. Alright, so now I'm going to charge this up. I fully depleted it earlier. Um, and I'm going to be charging it in that port, the 100 watt in out. I'm going to be using this next tech. Um, 90 watt. So, hey, this is the closest I could find. I bought this a while ago um, to prepare for the super tank, and it seems to be handling it pretty well. Um, it's a little weird if you're if you have an outlet like this, but whatever. I have it hooked up to this meter, and I'm gonna plug it in there. So, what do we got going on here? Shy at 20 volts and 3 amps. Yeah, 4. And 4.5. Four and it's pretty cool, right? So, um, I think it'll take a little over an hour to charge, but I mean, this is pretty fast. So that's at that 90 watts. 20 times 4.5, right? I think so. Alright, and now it works. Okay. Um, one other thing someone said that these meters really aren't capable of this kind of thing because of the temperature. 
Uh, it is at 67 degrees Celsius, and I mean, it's a little warm to the touch, sure. 90 watts. Yeah, this is too. It's, it's about just as warm as this actual uh, 90 watt charger, so it's fine. It just crossed over the half mark, so now it's slowing down a little bit. See? 